whether uh, we should be sending out an invite to a daily call or should we or what do you guys think uh, I think it would I, I think uh, the next experiment experimental solution would be to uh, leave a link and an open invitation somewhere in, in perpetuity let's call it um, and uh, people are aware of it and if they want to join they join if they don't want to they don't so yeah Something I like think that. and, that's what I wanted to try to get to with Notion, but we're not. Oh yeah, right. Yet, I guess. Uh, do you want to kind of demo the current progress? I, I know that uh, you and um, Anton were working on on that deeper exploration yeah. and organization of things. Maybe it would be great to just you know spend five minutes, give an overview of what you guys accomplished so far, um, on yeah. on that side of things. Yeah, we can do that. Um, all right. So as people are joining in, maybe just go ahead and let's let's do that. And whoever will be watching this video will um, will be able to navigate those too. Um, just um, can you allow uh, share? Oh, all right. Let me see. Can you do that now? Yeah. Okay. So. Be able to see it now. Yep. Um, all right. So, yeah. So Anton and I. Um, Wait. No, we so, see like half of the screen. Oh, yeah. Works. Okay. Um, all right. So Anton and I have started to do some work here. Um, let's see. Uh, going through. Uh, starting off with, you know, when, when people join Corona Y, um, uh, where are they going to navigate to? So, you know, instead of Slack, and we talked about having like a uh, some kind of message that would post daily, um, either a message coupled with a, a video potentially. So, I said, okay, how how would we do this in Notion? So, I guess very quick overview: um, everything from here down what was um uh, was created um before this larger team account uh and we've added uh this onboarding chart first timers and home base uh that we're starting to build out more uh hey anton um so <clears throat> uh, and one thing i want to actually make sure i get to with you is is the meetings template so onboarding this looks like uh, I think Anton started this. Have we gotten too far yet? First timers, we, we we talked about how to make sure that people will get familiar with Notion because everything here is going to be open to everybody in in the space, and it's very easy to a get confused and b to destroy something or just really cause chaos. Um, so I took Anton's uh, term. I don't know if it's a Russian saying or what, but I liked it a lot. So. Uh, they have a saying where it's "Don't be a monkey with a grenade." So um, I added this for this first this top level um, uh, page here. First timers, please stop. Uh, avoid the Notion team. Um, and then saying, "Hey, look, it only takes eight minutes. Get familiar, watch the first few videos, post it those here." Uh, so hopefully, people will um, people will check those out, um, which I recommend to everybody. It gives you a great uh, understanding and intuition into how to deal with Notion. And after these two videos, really after the first one, it doesn't seem so complex or, or scary. Um, so we've got that. And then home base. So ideally, we want to have as few top level pages as possible, right? To, to keep things organized, clean looking, um, easy to deal with. So, and then, you know, everything will be in sub pages here. So Okay, so, right, so home base, um, this is sort of a quick and dirty data dump um, just to uh, get placeholders and start to imagine what it might look like. So you'll end over here, we'll have some resources, some contacts. I'm gonna put, put the rest of our partners 
um, you know, what else? And then if anybody has a comment, you know, you can go in here and say, hey, Matan or whoever, um, you know, let's, uh, let's do, you know, this and that, whatever. Uh, and I'll get a notification and we can start working on um, uh, editing the pages. Uh, then we have a calendar view for our meetings. Um, so if we go to our meeting space, table view. I'm going to go to the table view for now. So this this is the idea, um, uh, or this this is the concept um, in order to move away from using. Um, so many different tools like Google Sheets and Slack and this and that. So I I did our first meeting. Uh, so these are all of our meetings. If we hover over, over one of the records and click open, we open its individual work page. And this is a template that I've created, but it needs some work. So I want to get input from you guys. Um, all right, so we'll have the date, the location is going to be Zoom, and Arthur, I don't know if you want to, but we can um, we can just uh, put the um, persistent link, Zoom link for these meetings here, so that way you don't have to send out the uh, the link or the invite, right? We'll just we'll just make a note somewhere that hey, these calls are going on daily right now. At, Assuming um, that people open Notion and remember that that's correct, it's here, yeah. So obviously it'll be. You know, it'll be an experiment, and then we'll have to work with how to how to push people there. So, but that's part of the onboarding, right? So, we've got to come yeah. up. You know, and this is going to be like you know probably Tyler and Bianca and other people. Um, you know, once people, first of all, I'm not even sure where people are finding Corona Y right now. So the question is, um, I guess you know, what's that onboarding like? So hopefully, anyway, we've got to direct people over here. They'll do the Notion video, then they'll come to home base see the link and any, you know, even not for, I mean, the, the people that are at Corona Y now, I think that communication would be easy. Um, you know, the difficulty would be in, 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 in uh, working with the new people. Um, all right. So I've got some other fields over here. Again, we can delete stuff, add stuff, move things around the meat of this. All right. So we've got our agenda, right? Ideally you want to go into meetings with a purpose. Um, this is, sorry. It's, Okay, so here, all I did was to, uh, Arthur, take what you had input in the spreadsheet and just dump it into this table. Uh, so this is now a template. We can open a new one for each call and all of these spaces will be here. We just got to plug things in. Um, nice. So... Again, instead of opening up um, sheets, you would just just create a new meeting, and you'll have this set up in this way after the call, right? So everything is here. We'll have. And notes. is there like a list of all calls after this? Uh, I'll say, say again. Which so call? is there a list of all calls? Like, if we want to go back and see what happened in the. Pre oh, okay. So it's yeah. a table. This, okay, got it. And this is partly why it's really important to watch those first two videos because. Right now, it's like, what the heck did I just do? Where is everything living, right? Um, so all it was, uh, the, these are, uh, it's like a page, it's a page within a page and a database within a database. So let me try to explain. Inception. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. That's what, exactly. That's what Anton says. Um, so I created, the, so this page is a, um, uh, this entire page is a database, um, in contrast to something like an inline database like this. Okay. Uh, the only difference is it's taken up the entire page. So now within this quote unquote database, uh, each one of these records here is itself a page. Okay. So here's a list of all the meetings. Uh, as, as we, uh, you know, before today's call, 
and you want to start a new meeting, you'll go over here I believe, and uh, okay, so this is my this is the template right now. You'll say you'll create a new meeting out of this template. Hopefully, there we go. Okay. And everything is here for you. I, I need to edit this uh, for whatever reason. It's copying uh, um, the inputs from uh, from one prior meeting. I just just need to fix that. But you'll start a new meeting, uh, and that will end up on the on the page that we just left. All right. Um, so that was the list of all the meetings. We go into uh, an individual meeting, make all the notes here, and then afterwards we can post. Um, uh, we we can go back and look at the uh, the action items, or post the videos, or any questions and comments that people had, uh, and then and and we we can complete um, um, uh, or we can communicate with, with each other at different times, right? Um, What's the term for that? A something is a sync communication or whatever it was. Uh, does that does that make more sense? Yeah. The structure, Matan, I guess. Can, Matan, can you actually also quickly show the different view? So yeah, not yeah. only the table you have meeting, but all, also like yeah. a calendar or something else. Totally. So, um, okay. So tables or databases in general can have multiple views. So what does that mean? All right. Right now we're looking at it as a table. Um, because it's convenient here. But let's say, you know, in the other view on the home base page, I want to see the calendar view um, so that we can put other things in that. Eventually, we, we can put other um, other traits, other components. We'll uh, look at everything together. And then that's that table view and then a list view. So um, let's see. So... I, I, in this instance, maybe this view doesn't make sense, but there are plenty of, of uh, occasions where this might fit your need better than the calendar view. And then you can filter things, add different uh, traits or properties that will show up here. And let me see if I can show. Um, so all of, all of these properties, so these are, let's see. No. I'm, Anton, I'm trying to find a good example to show where on a normal page, like these properties turn into the column labels. Let's see. Uh. I haven't used it for, for, for yeah. documents over here. All right, I'll leave it. Um, all right, so that's it. I think, like, yeah, let, let's leave all of the complexity, like, yeah, yeah. still hidden because, again, notion at this point of development of this as a product is ridiculously flexible, and I'm not even sure we, we need all of that. So yeah. just, just this will be enough. What, for me, the, the selling point is this kind of calendar view because the moment I'm seeing table of tables of another tables, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm zoning out. But the moment when you transmit at least one of these layers into calendar view, I'm like, oh, wait a second. So it's every day we have a table of this kind of reports, it's fine. And every line in that table, just simply a report from each team. Okay, it makes sense. So that's the beauty of Notion. Like different people will find different formats of, of their visualizations. Also, I like the, what you mentioned about integration of other services. So for example, we could finally integrate mirror boards into our workflow property. Instead of just sending links, you can have a block of a mirror board in Notion that is interactive. So, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, so that's it. So, so the list of all the meetings would be here to go, start a new meeting, start a new template to look at an older meeting, you just simply open that page here. Um, uh, here, so these fields right here would turn into the column labels if you turn it into a table, i.e. database. Um, okay, so I don't know if you want to go through this now, talk about the template, and we can do it at a later point. Um, so I've tagged a couple, a few people here. So as soon, as soon as you guys, the next time that you log in or open up 
Notion, you'll find, um, you'll see here, it'll say all updates, and it'll show you uh, who's mentioned you, and right from here, you can re respond or go to the page that's, uh, um, that's, uh, that we're talking about. And basically, uh, your updates are coming from anywhere in the workspace, right? Correct. So you can tag yeah. anyone that is a part of the workspace, assuming that they joined, right? That's correct. Okay, so would new users that, let's say we're onboarding someone, do we have to add them manually? I'm sorry, do we have to add them? Do we have to add them manually into the uh, workspace? No, as, as, as soon as they, let's see, so so over here, as soon as we add them from here, um, they'll have access to everything, everything in the workspace. Okay, but someone has to add them manually, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe there's a way to automate it. You know, I, I don't know. Um, so, so at this point, there is no way to automate it, but the API coming soon, I'm not sure that that functionality will be there. Also, in addition to being a full-fledged member of the team, like the guests also could add it. If, as long as they have a link to an ocean page, they could contribute their content to it. Or at least we have control. We could either allow it or not, but it's a part of a different story. But otherwise, the only thing you need to have initially or immediately to contribute is, is simply like, uh, let's say a Gmail account, and then you can create a Notion account very quickly. And then, for example, here is the workflow. Let's say I'm working on a specific uh, notion for a specific team that describes some process. And let's say I want to ask another person like, hey man, I want to get your notes about experiments you run. So I simply could give him uh, a page link and kind of like ask him to dump his notes over there. And that's it. There is no need to go and manually add to members, et cetera before the, the right time comes in to kind of onboard the person. So I already did this a couple of times and it worked nicely with people. So I'm happy with that functionality. Um, so is that something you want to talk about? How, like right now, how are people finding out about Corona Y? Do, have we solidified a process to get them started or is it kind of right now? A bit so we actually had this call with Anton the other day, uh, yesterday, I believe, or whenever. And we went through the onboarding process of other communities, uh, like Helpful Engineering and others, to understand how they are, um, you know, structuring this process. So they also have the introductions channel. Uh, they have some apps on Slack to, to mimic what we have on our website in terms of a form. Uh, so think, I think we're good on that. So maybe we think of Notion is the first thing that they receive once they fill out the form so that they uh, can jump in. And ideally there is this onboarding chart that can be you know, a text first, but then a visual guide uh, that directs them based on whether they're interested in computer vision or NLP or forecasting or uh, they're not technical and any other um, kind of routes that they can take. Um, we haven't had a chance to actually work on that chart yet. I believe Tyler um, had some uh, time yesterday. Maybe um, we can pin him for, for any updates. Um, but yeah, maybe we can just take the rest of this call, the rest of the eight minutes to talk through, through this process too. Um, so just, I guess, to segue on, um, on your point there, you know, when people come in, what do they want to work with? So that was part of my idea here is when people would land, okay, this is, this is the kind of work I can get involved in NLP time series, so on and so forth. Um, you know, and then these would have links, um, internal links to the different pages here. All right. And then, um, you know, the, the idea is, say, you know, let's say it directs them here. Each each team would have uh, their own uh, more granular set of instructions on how to get started. 
you know, direct them to GitHub or the per the the um, ideal Slack channel, so on and so forth. You guys still there? Looks like I lost you. Yep. Sorry, I was on mute. I have uh, some crazy street sounds so, happening. Is it super hot there again today? Yeah. So basically, what, what we want to to accomplish, and maybe we'll just schedule thirty minutes uh, with Anton Tyler um, today or tomorrow to um, connect the home base with the basic onboarding page. So that onboarding chart, um, cause, cause the, can you click? Yeah. So what else sounds more like, you know, what first, uh, because people don't come to Corona wide just because they're bored. They obviously want to either help and, um, help accomplish some, some impact, impactful activity, but they also want to learn and they join by their specialty. So very rarely we have people that are kind of like jack of all trades, right? They still come and they still join, but a uh, majority of people are specialists and we want to have a very clear uh, routing mechanism. Um, probably not just limited to teams, but also to like general channels, like news, COVID research or, or something like that, because we want to make sure that people are aware for which purpose these channels exist. Uh, so kind of like a, a map of, of channels per tags or per specialties. That's how I'm thinking about it. That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So uh, we just need to build it out though. Um, I mean, all of this information is, is in everybody's head as a collective. So we just need to dump it out here and then organize it. Yeah. Um, do you want to uh, join us for, for this uh, work session just for the onboarding? Yeah, totally. Okay. So maybe we can do... Um, How about, um, hey, Bianca, do you want to, to join us for this one? I'm thinking maybe we can uh, take up our sync time at 11.30, uh, which is an hour from now. Uh, yeah, that's all good for me. All right, so let's do 11.30 uh, Pacific, which is an hour from now. I'll send an invite. Cool. All right. So we kind of repurposed today's daily call to uh, to the notion topic, but I think it was super helpful. Um, and uh, if anything, if anything, we can come up with a better structure than a spreadsheet. And that's always, uh, you know, a, a goal because the spreadsheet, I, I feel that it, it accomplishes the kind of the, the viewing experience, but editing is very painful. Not many people are actually participating in that. So maybe Notion will help change that part of the interaction. Um, and yeah, so maybe let's, let's touch base in an hour, focus on onboarding and then sync um, on the, the progress tomorrow. Sounds good? Okay. Sounds good. All right. I'll send an invite for, for the call in an hour. Bye-bye.